Hiya. So a common thing that people will want on a WordPress site is to customize this favicon, is sometimes what people say, F-A-V-I-C-O-N, or site icon um, as a more general term. Um, and that's kind of what you see in a browser when you're on a website. Um, and a few versions of WordPress ago, they made this much easier to customize. So um, I'm in WordPress um, and I'm already logged in. Um, and then once I'm in that, what I want to do is go to Appearance Customize. And regardless of what theme you're in, this is where you can find this feature. Um, uh, there might be a lot of other things in this panel, but Site Identity is the one you want to look for. And in there, you'll see the Site Icon thing. And you can select any existing picture from your media library, or you can upload a new one, which is what I'm going to do. So I just cropped out the, sh the icon from our WP Shout site. Um, it's not a very good crop, but it's good enough to demonstrate this. Um, and so then I'm gonna select that image. And what is really cool about this is that in the background, after we do this, WordPress will just create this for you. You used to have to do this manually and you'd have to go figure out how to create a favicon.ico file. Um, and now WordPress just does it for you. So I need to like kind of center my crop um, and I can kind of tweak it because I captured a very big image so I can make up some of the errors in my crop on this screen, which is also really cool. A uh, little shorter and that's good enough for our purposes. Um, so with that, I can then say crop image and what WordPress will do is it'll actually create not only the one for in the browser, like you're seeing it right now, um, but it also creates ones that work on like phones and all of that kind of stuff. So this is even better than just creating it the old fashioned way. Um, you'll notice it looks much sharper on mine than the one we actually are currently using on WP Shout. I think the colors are a bit off, but um, that's kind of how you create it. Uh, and then if you save and publish on your WordPress site, you will get that when you go back to it. So if I go back to my WordPress site, now every page on my WordPress site will show in my browser that nice little icon. So it's really cool that they've put that in the WordPress customizer, and it's really easy to now set a site icon or favicon, whichever you want to call it. Hopefully that's helpful to you.